Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a manga overview, this time Fist of the North Star Volume 1 hardcover from Viz, uh, from Frizz Media. And uh, I just, you know, got this recommendation from my buddy uh, Mike. Um, and I just, you know, have one and two volumes here. And I thought, you know, I'm going to read it because I've, when I was younger, let's say I was 17 or 18 years old, I watched the anime Fist of the North Star, and that blew me away. Uh, it, it came out in, I believe, 1986. And, um, yeah, you know, I was a younger guy, and, uh, of course, I uh, watched a lot of cartoons, you know, when I was younger. Yeah, I grew up with He-Man, Transformers, you know, uh, all that stuff. Uh, but then I got introduced to Japanese cartoons, also known as anime, and um, this was probably one of the first that I saw, and uh, I, I I didn't know what I saw, and it was so brutal, so gory, so bloody. It was fantastic, <laughs> and um, and you know, Fist of the North Star is a very very well known uh, franchise. Uh, it's been uh, I believe there was twenty seven Tonkabons. That's how you say it. I believe those are chapters. Um, and they released it, I believe, uh, in begin, you know, some, some manga in, in, the in the U S uh, but you know, because of poor sales getting canceled, uh, later they tried it again with some, some, uh, special editions or extended editions or something like that. Um, that didn't work out and now they brought it back, uh, with the hard covers. And uh, they're going to release, uh, I've read it up a little bit here and there, they're going to bring out 18 volumes. And these are mostly um, three, three chapters rolled into one, right? Um, and that means that you have about 300 pages per hardcover, which is great. Um, so yeah, I, I just I thought to pick it up. You can see it's um, 20 US dollars. I, I got this for 15. Now, the weird thing is about this in my area, I'm not sure how it is, but um, I pay 15 for this and 22 for this one. And if I wanted to pay, uh, let's say, uh, volume three and four, there's a lot of price differences. Sometimes 10 bucks each is different. You know, some is like $12 or euros and the other one is like 27. It really makes no sense. Uh, but maybe demand and all that stuff. I don't know. So um, without further ado, what is this? Well, you can read it here in the back. And um, and I also love that, you know, we see some art in the inside, you know, printed on the outside on, on the back. Um, you got a lot of value for, for money when it comes to manga. And I'm, you know, uh, reading a lot of manga lately. And I'm very happy with that. So... With most newer manga, we have some colored pages here in the beginning. And that translates later on to um, uh, black and white. Now, uh, we're getting introduced to uh, to our main hero here later on. Um, and this is basically a Mad Max setting. And I'm not going to spoil everything, but, you know, I'm going to show you a couple of pages. And we're getting introduced to um, uh, our, our hero... Can, can, Jesus Christ, I just got it in my head. Wait a minute, I'm so, I suck. Kenshiro, people call him Ken, right? And he is just a wanderer, and this, like I said, this is in a Mad Max setting. There's some kind of a post apocalyptic nuclear war. There's almost no water anymore. Uh, this is more like a lawless country where the strongest survive and they are, you know, ruling um, parts of this land here. And then getting introduced to um, to Ken Kenshiro, who is um, a master of a certain assassin technique, because that's what he is. Now, I forgot to mention, if you are looking at, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a, so he has this scars here. And these are seven scars and that um, resemble some kind of a constellation. And But if you look here, you see this, and I didn't notice at first, this is the constellation here. These. And... His power is mostly, um, how do you say, finding pressure points on um, enemies' body and then killing them <laughs> in gruesome ways. And it has some some delay in the in the 
in the attack. So basically, he just punches someone. And then this guy is still talking. He said, hey, it, d- it doesn't do anything for me. What are you talking about, right? And then, then you see his head explode, his arms breaking off. There's a lot of horrible stuff in here. Now, Shin is getting captured here in the beginning. And he's meeting uh, up with a, a young boy. He's a little bit cocky. Reminds me a little bit of Berserk. You know, the guy that follows him. Uh, maybe it's some kind of a trope, but not unwelcome. And uh, they are imprisoned. And this young girl that's called, I believe, Rin, and she cannot speak. But Ken, Ken Shiro's power is not only destruction, but also healing. So he basically gives her her speech back through touch. Uh, not here, but, you know, she hasn't can spoken because he has some trauma from because her parents were killed in a horrible way. And like I said, this world is just full of murderers and thieves and scumbags and all that stuff. And Shin here is, has is on some kind of a mission because he's looking for his girlfriend. And then I'm not going to tell the whole story, but let's say the story is um, his girlfriend has been kidnapped and uh, he's basically searching for her. Uh, okay, you see here that he is healing her. And um, so this guy says, uh, uh, unrobe him and then he sees this constellation and he's um, heard of this assassin with this technique uh, he says where hokutu appears chaos follows now um the technique is called um hokutu shinken now and um he and, and when he i mean this looks great look at this and this is not even the best one so he breaks out and because he's incredibly strong and um, you see how big these guys are. So there's a lot of exaggerated proportions here. And mostly of the bad guys are just three, four meters higher. You know, they can, can grab you. And um, and then Ken comes in. But he's not the typical nice guy. He is sympathetic to, towards, you know, people that are, you know, are in trouble. Uh, but when it comes to... Um, how do you say his enemies? He's pretty relentless. He um, he also saying stuff like "Ah, oh, you are already dead," and and um, he's basically also lying to them. There was once uh, uh, an enemy that um, doesn't want to get killed, although he did horrible stuff. And um, Ken says, "Well, I'm not going to kill you," and then he's killing them anyway. Um, and as you see here, this is the result of the delay that all of his body parts are getting exploded from the inside. Because that is his power. And um, and he's here leaving the city and leaving Rin behind. We see Rin again uh, later. And we have also some color pages here uh, a little bit. And mostly of these, these encounters are basically the same. We have some, you know, horrible people with mohawks riding on, on motorcycles. Uh, here, for instance, this old man wants to go to the city because he has found some uh, rice grains you know for you know growing and uh Kanchiro's decided to to help them but then uh, the 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 town is getting invaded because yeah these guys want the water they want they want the food right and might makes right and um people are dying left and right and uh, Kenshiro <laughs> he's powering up and not only that way later and I cannot remember if I mean, the movie was two hours long, so around two hours, one hour and 50 minutes, I guess. Uh, I can remember that this guy is getting so uncontrollably powerful that he's, he's floating, telekinesis, you know, stuff like that, and, and, and incredibly fast and pretty and in, in, in vulnerable. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing that we see, um, you know, just badass guys jacked up all almost always half naked uh, beating up guys <laughs> killing them right and um and and then helping people it's i mean it's a trope but it's it's, it's oh my god it's it's not a bad one it's actually a fun one because um i mean there is there's manga that has a very deep connected story you know with the, with character building and it's and but these volumes that I've read so far, it's mostly a little bit, how do you say, and I don't want to take it away from what's happening here. Um, it's 
Kenshiro, wandering, bad guys come in, he beats up the bad guys, and then, um, as you can see here, this is the next guy in line, and uh, this is the protagonist here, and, and, and coming back to that, you know, beating up the bad, bad guy and then going to the boss and killing them and going to the next one, right? And you can say, well, isn't that a little bit bland? Well, no, because at one point, like I said, you want to see, if you weren't going to the movies, you want to see maybe a Christopher Nolan movie with, you know, intricate details and, and complicated storylines. It depends on your, of your taste, of course. Uh, or you want to see some, you know, a pure action movie. And this is what I'm comparing to it. You know, it's like a Mad Max movie. It's pure action. A lot of stuff going on. And um, But like I said, there's 18 hardcovers coming out. And I cannot imagine that it's just only this, what you are seeing now. It's just probably more like a deeper storyline. Uh, and we see that uh, through, through his Kenshiro's journey, right? So this is Shin. Um, and they cannot see, cannot show nudity. There's some kind of a code about from the Japanese that you can show to a certain degree, you know, naked people. But when it comes to genitalia, not so much. And this guy is also um, has a... Power of the North Star kind of power that is um, on par with Kenshiro's, although differently. And he is looking for Kenshiro, uh, right? And again, see these guys, and we see the horrible things that this guy is hanging, and his little daughter is trying to save him, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't go well. Um, so Kenshiro steps in, and I'm going to skip a few pages, but you can see how how careful or carefree this guy is he doesn't face that the, all these people are trying to kill him and because the main villain is uh, is shin in this 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 particular comic um oh my god um skipping a few pages now not all of these characters are bland or boring although i must say the, the dialogue can here be a little bit simple, like, I'm going to kill you, and, 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 and very overdramatic. And to a certain degree, that is not laughable, but very entertaining. And Shin here, uh, we see this recap here that uh, Kenshiro is with, uh, I, what's her name? Uh, Yuria. And then um, Shin comes in, and he says, uh, might makes right. What a great time to be alive. The strong can claim whatever they desire at their own. And, um, you know, showing off his power. And he says, uh, what are you doing? Basically, he wants his girl. And, um, and so they are trained by the same master. But the master is now dead. And he's spitting on his grave, sort of. Right? And they're having a fight with each other for, you know, the love of, uh, of, of Yuria here. Um, and then at some point... Um, Shin here defeats him because Kenshiro was weaker here and gave him, you know, the star constellations does. And, and Yuria must, uh, you know, uh, leave with Shin and say that, you know, he's, his, he's a woman and otherwise he's going to kill him. Um, and then she, she complies and she says, I will love you. I'm yours forever. And uh, this guy's completely nuts and then leaving Shin here. Um, behind uh, because he thinks he's dying but now he's back and Shin is not the same man anymore right so they're gonna have a fight for the love of um, Yuria but there's a twist here I'm not gonna reveal that thing but let's say Shin is not a a dumb uh, barbarian um, uh, villain there is some depth in it and later on um, again, again you see this, all these guys they are going to, to some town here. There's water and then, um, you know, people are still getting harassed. And there is some faction here that wants to take the girls for breeding. Now, this in particular is very, very brutal, I think, because um, these are guys are, you know, kidnapping women, right? And then the husband comes in a little bit later. So um, what's her name? Uh, Rin is, is being captured. So Shin... Uh, it's going to pursue those those villains here. And um, look at the art. Art is great. And um, But then the husbands of and, and, and family of these women are coming. And he wants to say, hey, let them free, right? And <laughs> they're getting killed left and right. The, the, and then a very horrible thing happened that, that I didn't see this coming. So this young girl's father here... Um, 
is is um, getting punished, right? He says, friends, husbands, family, everyone. That is the law of Golan. It's time to cut ties with your past because they are now they're put in their possession, and he's killing them. And this girl is is seeing how his dad is getting decapitated, and this, the face of this guy looking at her. So yeah, she's com completely uh, traumatized for life. But then Shin comes in, and we see this sound effects like boom, like there's something coming, and. Uh, I also uh, saw that he is doing some comparison with Bruce Lee stances, the way he moves. Also has some nunchucks, and uh, yeah, he's 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 beating this guy up, and uh, and then you know it goes into to other you know territories like the the red faction and I believe the the red berets, and they are um, you know, under um, you know the the master or their. Uh, no, well, this is not the best. It's some kind of underling. But you see, you see how big these guys are, right? And Kenshiro needs to fight a uh, a big guy from the Green Beret. And this guy has a very interesting backstory, I think. So I'm doing just now overview one, uh, volume one and two, a little bit here. And I'm not going to spoil, but let's say he's a villain. He does terrible stuff because he's created a city. Well, he kind of rule, but there's a reason why he did that. And it happens here. And the people are responsible basically for the destruction of Earth. And therefore, he says, I'm not going to let him that again. So I built my own town and I'm, I'm going to rule here. And we have some very cool battles um, between Ken and this guy. Um, and, and also, this particular story is with, uh, with Rat. Rat uh, is, is an adopted young boy. And he's been raised by this old woman. And uh, there's in this town, there's some water, but they cannot get there because it's been blocked by some dirt and, and gravel and, and concrete. And of course, Shin is here to help. And of course, there's more bandits coming to uh, because they want the water. Uh, so it goes on a little bit on like that. And I'm, I'm not to try to downplay, but in this particular uh, book, Ken of Kenshiro was basically the good guy, but brutalizes and killing people in gruesome fashion. Uh, but mostly the guys around him or the people around him is what makes this book interesting. We have, um, you know, uh, a little bit more stories that touching the heartstrings here and there. And, uh, <laughs> and so that's cool. And we also see stronger and stronger villains and... Um, Monsters coming, like this guy he is a, a creature called the Devil. Now look at this. Isn't this fantastic? And uh, yeah, Shin needs to, to, to battle him too. And uh, yeah, it, it, it is great. It's absolutely great. Now coming, come, a little bit back, coming back to the paper stock. The paper stock is not, um, how do you say, clear white as, um, you know, with most with uh, hardcovers. Uh, it's not white as this, it's more like an eggshell coloring, um, which is a little bit more reminiscent from the paper stock that was used back in the day, which I like. Um, so yeah, um, I try to get this, this whole complete run uh, because I'm having fun with this. So guys, if you like what you are seeing here, Fist of the North, so you never heard about it, but let's say you want to have some cool masculine balls to the walls action with cool scenes, um, cool uh, martial artists and um, an, an interesting storyline that I'm pretty sure is going to develop later. Um, this is the book for you. Um, highly recommend, in my opinion. Um, and you're getting introduced to art style that was used back in the 80s, which is nice to see. It still holds up, by the way. It looks still great. Um, so yeah, guys, this is my uh, overview of Fist of the North Star. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.